What's up guys, Chris here, CJ Gaming, back again playing No Man's Sky. Um, and we'll jump straight into some things that I've done whilst you've been away. Um, as you can see, I've got a biodome here, this is the second one. And i filled it up with selenium. I think there's eight plants altogether. Six. For those of you who want to build a circuit board farm. Um, oh yeah, seven, eight. So you need eight. Selenium 2, I'm not even going to try that, the cactus plant, and if you look in here, where the other one is, I think it's 4 frost warp for frost crystals, and then all of the rest you need um, star bulbs for star seeds. Um, I've already harvested these before I went live, so I think we should now be able to make 2 heat capacitors. And we're actually short on one polyfiber, and I'm not sure why. Did I put 200 star bulbs somewhere? Okay, that's where they are. We'll get to that exograft shortly. Uh, right, okay, so back in the suit, we'll make. Oh my god, pressing buttons like mad. Craft one more. So that's done. Oh yeah, can't build anymore. And go to our circuit board, which is here. So as you can see, then uh, 900,000 each. Um, so for my first farm, I'm creating two roughly a day. So it's an extra two million a day without doing anything because once they're in there, they're good to go. Um, if we go this way, um, oh actually, just quickly, this frost walk grows really quick and you get frost crystals which you can make into glass so if you're building any base parts with glass um, there's always plenty left over there uh, so off camera we completed all of these missions so if we go to where our plants are we can now make all of these different plants and you just pick them up just by going through the story mission for this little guy the farming um, what is it called Terminal, farming terminal, oh, agricultural terminal. So you follow that through. What I would suggest, if you haven't done any of those missions before, just as you're generally um, going around planets and things, and you see, if you can see in the top of my screen where the radar is, those green uh, symbols with the leaf. If you see them on the planet anywhere, always go and pick them up. You need about about maybe 200 just get a stack so there's things like um, the selenium you'll see you'll see these bulbs here um, and what else is there there's loads actually I can show you here so if you're on a planet and you see any of not gamma root no 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 so there's selenium is one Pretty much all of these um, items you see here, you're going to have to build one of each of these plants for the missions. So I would make sure you just, if you see any on any planets, just pick them up and then you can grow them just for those missions. And I did that and I went through them really, really quick. Um, here we have the Exocraft terminal. So you follow these to get all three of the Exocrafts, which I'm just going to show you now and there's not been any more changes at the moment I've got a mission for this guy, the weapons um, specialist and it says engage and destroy sentinels and you have to kill 8 sentinels which you think is quite straightforward um, but I've killed so many and the number stays at zero so I've put that on hold for now as you can see here we've got a trade terminal now 
so it's really easy to sell things but um, if we go to our circuit boards that we've just made I oh know 10% extra that was not so bad I've also got some in my ship so I might just sell them for now I don't know if that changes or not the percentage but I thought um, for some reason I thought they were negative so I was keeping hold of the circuit boards to not sell them and now I've lost them. Oh, so there we go. So there's five and a half million. So I've got six boards. So roughly three days um, of gathering, really. Um, it takes about 30 seconds to gather everything. So even if you haven't got time to play, you can just go on and get the plants and just make up the circuit boards really, really quick. As I've said before, this is only a temporary base. So it doesn't look great. I've just built these circle rooms. I'm actually going to build a proper base when I find the planet to build on. Uh, but for the time being, it's, it's just somewhere to complete these missions for all the building. And um, if we look over here, we have some exocrafts. Now, this is the first one you get. So I built that. Um, it's kind of like a moon buggy, really. They all have storage in them. Uh, but when you go this way to the exocraft, you can only get the inventory of the active craft. So, unless... I'm going out for any mission, which I actually went for a mission on this one to get to. Uh, had about 10 minutes to get to somewhere on this planet. Uh, so I took that one, so I think that's the quickest. But this guy is usually my active one, because if you look, he's got 24 slots in there. So I've got all extra um, crafting materials that I just put in there. Because I'm going to go out on missions now so I want as much space as possible I've got extra crafting materials which I need to get rid of as well so yeah the exocrafts are really cool they look really cool and to be honest I'm just using them as storage for now um, but as you can see our base is still pretty much in the tunnel uh, in the mountain sorry I have made a tunnel through there and if you follow it around it will take you to an underground mine where you can get cobalt pretty quick but it's all pretty messy um, for the time being it will do um, but when we find somewhere to, to build I'm just going to demolish everything and move on out because we're getting close to finishing all of our missions regarding base building and things but for now I, I wanted a bit of a break I didn't want to just run around doing these sort of like boring missions with you guys again so what I've done is I've highlighted an Artemis mission my Atlas one still says explore. I don't um, really know what to do about that one. I don't think anything comes up on the bottom here. But, and for um, Apollo and I can't even think what that guy, Nada missions, um, you've got to get a Voyager, which I think is warp warping. So I just need to keep warping to different systems and I'll eventually get that. But for now, I think I'm just going to have a bit of a break and do an, this Artemis mission. And if I'm not mistaken, I have already been to the system where it's located. So I think it's this one. So we've got this mission here and the base computer mission is over there. So I'll probably do them both, but for now we'll go to here. <coughs> Excuse me. The only problem with teleporting everywhere is that for some reason it just takes so long. So it's a bit annoying really. But... So things sort of on my to-do list at the moment. I still want an S-rank multi-tool. I'd really like an alien one because they just look really cool. Um, every system I've been to, like I've been to the... Um, I've been to the... Um, I always forget the name of this. What is it? Um, I've been to the base, and the space, space base, whatever. Um, yeah, looking in each of the weapon shops, probably the best one I've got is an A class one, which I already have. But it had 24 slots, so I was kind of weighing up whether to completely swap over and then get all of these modules back again but I didn't because I have got a stack of about three um, S class scanner but well, I was saving it for my uh, my, my S rank 
multi-tool and I didn't want to buy them all again. So I'm just sticking with what I've got for now. So that's the multi-tool we want. Um, I'd like another... I'm thinking about a hauler maybe. A max slot hauler. 48 I think it is. A slot ship. Um, which would be good because obviously No Man's Sky is predominantly a management game more than anything. So I think a high slot ship would be really good. I don't often really, I don't get many space battles that I need to buy so I'm keeping my eye out for a, a hauler. Um, you know, that's nice. If I get a high slot, maybe not even a next rank one, I'd consider it. But for the time being, let's just carry on with this. Uh, if I see any of these crates anywhere, I'm always picking them up. I'm getting a lot of antimatter and antimatter housing that you go from it, so all goes to making warp cells, which saves me having to get the, the items for it, which is the hell out of me. It's really good. And also, if I see a ship that's not symmetrical, I'm not going to get it. However good it'll be, it'll bug the hell out of me. That looks kind of cool. Ooh, that's cool we've got. B rank fighter. Apparently there's fighters on this planet. I guess it's Viking. I think Viking ones are generally fighting ships. Okay, so ask for information. I spit and bow, emulating the life form's strange motions. They scream, withdraw a dagger. Oh, this is getting a bit intense. Withdraw a dagger from the holster at their side and slice open their own palm. They laugh at me, offering a dagger. Let's copy him. I run the dagger along my own palm. A little blood emerging through my exosuit. The hole quickly seals itself. Weird. Uh, <coughs> decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis. Uh, they've made a mistake. Okay, I think I moved them on. Return to space. Okay. That's not going to be any good, is it? A rank. That's quite a cool looking ship. A rank as well. That is a very not symmetrical ship. Just check and see if there's. I've seen some pictures of some ships with um, droids in, which would be pretty cool, but I haven't actually seen any yet. So we'll get back in. It's been a while since I've actually done any missions, there's so much to do in this game. Um, I'm struggling to, uh, well, I'm not getting bored at all. Um, I'll find my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What aren't you saying? Um, you suggest they're wrong. Uh, right. Stars have altered. Um, okay, he's kind of panicking a bit. Sounds beneath their words. A sound as if glass could screen. What the hell? Uh, let's comfort him. Poor guy. He is on a planet on his own. Uh, discovered the glyphs for a portal. Tra oh, this is what I wanted. So, so I can sort of jump around using glyphs so I can see people's bases and things. Um, halfway collapsed while I was inside. Found this place in the darkness. Blah blah. Oh, asks for the glyphs. Of course they're gone. Uh, oh, signal cuts off, crackles into oblivion. I hear a name through the static Apollo. The frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contact. What the hell? Locate and activate a hollow terminus. What the hell? Scanning. Oh, there we go. Activate the hollow terminal. Oh my god. There we go. Right. Of course, we're running out of fuel. 
Yeah. There is currently a community event. Um, it's four uh, community event, four out of eight. I've done the initial one to get the 2,000 coins. But uh, I'm not doing it again. It's the most boring one thing ever. Just going around. Uh, you have to triangulate signals, so I'm not. Don't mind scanning, flipping, just running around. Doing nothing really all the time. Uh, yeah, so I think this community event's been on for two weeks now, and it's meant to be weekly, but... Who knows, I guess I'm pretty sure I have been on this planet, so I don't need to scan anything. Scanned, but let's just head out quick. Let's go up this way. I don't like using the ladders, they're a bit annoying. Oh. Are we done? Oh, no, another ladder. Some gravitino balls over there. I'm going to annoy the sentinels and and take them but they're not really actually worth too much. How many times do I do that? Oh nice, we got a new gut. This is a definite photo opportunity. With a robot. We've had we've had a um a thumbnail with Artemis. So we'll get one with Apollo now. Should we wave? It's a bit serious, let's wave. Okay, okay, okay. That'll do nicely. Okay, so this is Apollo. Transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. Let's greet him. Let's not be weird. Identify yourself or end this call. Is that a friend of Artemis? No, you're not. Ah, <sighs> well, this is a fun conversation. Why do you use that word at all, friend? It is just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. What a cheery person. Why you contact me? Contacting me is Artemis behind this. I haven't changed my mind. I don't care if some dream says we're travellers. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet him. Artemis is in trouble. Um, attempted to use a portal, become stranded. Yep, 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 we know. Uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself, okay? Right, sorry about that guys, I'm uh, not really sure what happened with my recording, it seemed to stop and I didn't actually realise until we carried on. Um, so we got a mission from Apollo to go to a Corvax factory and sort of hack into it, just like you do any other normal one. So I'm just going to land and we'll, we'll go straight into it. Okay, so let's go into the facility and get this mission over and done with. There are lots of um, sentinels around here actually, I'm not sure whether, I'm assuming they're going to go for me when I break down this door yet. Didn't think about that actually, I should have used the ship to shoot it down, it would have been a lot quicker but... Shouldn't be... Oh, Ooh, zigzag. I don't think I'm going to get this done actually. I don't think I'm going to get this done with new ammo I've got. Stop. Okay, let's hide up here real quick and we'll make some ammo. Of course. Don't 
think you can use the mining beam to shoot the door down, but let's check. Come on, get out. No. Alright, okay, so let's quickly get some... Are you kidding me? Is there no rock anywhere? So I think... Is it 14 or 16? No. Got my aiming is way off today. Let's just get things like that. No. Jesus, that easy to make 500 bullets. The whole time I've like. This is the first time I've crafted bullets actually. I've not known before. But um, how many you got? Okay. Hey, I don't think you're meant to shoot through there. We should be safe now. Uh, oh god, let's do that one. Pure ferrite. Oh, we're gonna need some more ferrite dust. Just in time for firestorm. Wonderful. I'm trying to do all this without going outside. Right. You're not meant to be able to shoot. Finally. Oh, my God. Oh, my damn refiner's on where my base is, right? Let's try and head for some fuel there, right? I think it should be. Would have been an idea to double check exactly how much it was but I'm sure you guys are going to be shouting at me in the comments telling me but there's some big rocks over here are you you're fair right okay um I think I want to say 25 I'm going to get I'm going to just take out the whole rock Scan you. Yeah. Oh. Made it. And where's the last one there? Ah, oh, 15. That was lucky I had to get 50 in the end. Um, terminal houses a blueprint and upgrade for my exosuit, however I find few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvax within left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority mission to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. Good, let's go for a good probing. Uh, it's more than a factory, it was a home to the Corvax who live within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy for their collective. Like and the video feeds. Um, internal sensors has recorded my movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light. It's a small hairy creature. <laughs> Shaken and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner. Vestiges of food upon a small dish. Even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. Yeah, well, euthanize the animal. No, we're definitely feeding it. Um, begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. Well, that's a bit cruel. Oh, right, okay, yet again we are returning to space and contacting Apollo. Let's see if any of these are open. Atlas Pass 2, surprise, surprise, I'm guessing the same. I'm guessing the same over here. Yep, Atlas Pass 2. Uh, right, okay, I'm just gonna wait 30 seconds. 
Trying to sort out our inventory. Okay. Now I'm keeping raid on from now on. Um, you can combine it with a lot of things to make some more. Um, to make items which are worth a bit of money. So I'm going to keep a stockpile of that for now. Oh, and I've got living glass there to sell, actually. I had some extra lubricant. So, 566,000, so it's just easy credits, really. And my freighter is full of my modules for when I get my new use. Um, oh, okay, so they've gone. Where was my ship? Over here. Upload the um, save point we found as well. Don't think we found any other plants. Nope. Oh, we'd already had that wave on. Did I do that already? Maybe I did it already. Okay, back up to the base. The thing with these missions, they're all very, very tiny, really, so you do have to spread them out with doing other things. Um, your attack on that factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? No. Have what we need. I recorded counter signal flares when the sentinel started to appear. Energy streams spark beneath the surface, moving from monolith to monolith. Examine these structures. They're all linked. I know it. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the outside. Okay, so... Only want C class ones and anything under 20 in their main um, trait or stat, um, I just don't want. I can't remember exactly why, I just read somewhere that just trying to aim for 20 plus and um, something to do with when they, they level after. I'm not going to go on board, I just want to have a look and see what it looks like. C class. Why is there no stat exploration case? It's only 18, so we'll leave that one. Where was this other guy? Oh, it's over there. Let's try and get up the right way so we can see what they look like from. Oh. That is really disorientating, and now I think I've lost where. Where is that? Oh, there we go. No, so I don't really want that. I don't like the look of it. I think I'm going to get one of the like star destroyers from um, the ones that look like they're from the Star Wars, but I know they're very, very expensive. Oh, this looks quite cool, but I'm guessing that's more than C rank. Oh no. Oh wow. <laughs> that's got to be the worst one I think I've ever seen. 3 3 one, two. Worse than usual. Right, okay, so I'm going to head towards this mission. This video has been going on a bit, actually, so I'll probably end this one here. Um, so. Once again, guys, thank you so much for joining me um, going through some of the Apollo missions. Hope you uh, found it all useful. If you're enjoying it, please don't forget to subscribe and click the thumbs up button. Uh, just for those of you that are aware and are interested in a Fallout series, um, I am on Xbox and Fallout 76 comes out in the beta. Um, on the Xbox first and I will be recording videos of that. I believe it is the 23rd of October it comes out um, The beta is only open from What we know so far is four to eight hours per day uh, And there's no 
NDA non-disclosure agreement so I can record as much as we want so I will be playing that I'll be recording it and putting it on YouTube so for those of you that are interested in Fallout please if you haven't already subscribe as well so you get notified when the videos are live so once again guys thank you so much for joining me and stay safe out there and I'll see you again next time Thank <laughs> you.